welcome. My name is Rob Miller. Today we're going to take an introductory look at Level of Development, or LOD. The term LOD has been around since the 1970s and described decreasing the level of detail of a 3D object rendered by a computer as it moves away from the user. Simply put, the closer an object was to the user, the more detail was shown. This makes sense for a number of reasons, the most important being the computational power of computers in the 1970s compared to today. Only in the last decade has Building Information Modeling, or BIM, become a reality, despite being first mentioned around 1990. According to the U.S. National Building Information Model Standard Project Committee, Building Information Modeling is a digital representation of physical and functional characteristics of a facility. A BIM is a shared knowledge resource for information about a facility, forming a reliable basis for decisions during its life cycle, defined as existing from earliest conception to demolition. In 2011, the BIM Forum put together a group of professionals to review model element geometry for quantity takeoff, 3D coordination, and 3D control and planning. And in August of 2013, the 2013 Level of Development Specification was published. As stated in the introduction, the Level of Development Specification is a reference that enables practitioners in the AEC industry to specify and articulate, with a high level of clarity, the content and reliability of building information models at various stages in the design and construction process. Now, simply put, this specification is a common language by which architects, engineers, contractors, and owners can convey and understand the detail level and reliability of a model. There are six fundamental levels of development, LOD 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, and 500, each one increasing in the amount of graphical and non-graphical detail included. Let's take a look at an example of structural steel framing to see what the difference in LOD looks like. At LOD 200, the shape of the tapered steel columns and beams are within a 1 inch tolerance, while the slope of any inclined elements are modeled to plus or minus 5 degrees. Deflection and bucklings of the beams and penetrations are not included. At LOD 300, the shape of the tapered columns and beams are within a half inch tolerance, while the slope of any inclined elements are modeled to plus or minus 2 degrees. Beam deflection and column buckling larger than 2 inches is included, but penetrations are still excluded. At LOD 400, the shape of the tapered columns and beams are within a quarter inch tolerance. Trusses are now modeled, beam deflection and column bucklings larger than 1 inch are included, and penetrations are now included as well. Also, connection plates and members between primary and secondary steel elements are shown. For a complete explanation of level of development and examples of numerous building elements, head over to the BIM Forum website and download the complete 2013 Level of Development specification for free. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. From all of us here at Building Point, have a great day.